Healthcare provision in a huge country like Botswana is very hard to deliver. There's a relatively small population scattered over a very wide area. But emerging technology is about to change all that. We are very much excited to be involved in this telemedicine project. This partnership brings together Microsoft and the For Africa initiative and USAID NetHope to work with the Botswana Innovation Hub and cable providers Bofinet, internet providers Global Broadband Solutions, the technology company Adaptrum, Vista Life Sciences, the University of Pennsylvania and the Ministry of Health Botswana, all under the eye of the national regulator BOCRA. This telemedicine project is a first for Africa. It's going to allow patients and people in the most rural areas and remote areas of Botswana to be able to access specialized health care. They won't have to travel hundreds of kilometers to the capital city to see a specialist. They'll be able to engage in a live telemedicine connection with a specialist based in, in Haberoni. What makes it unique is that the remote consultations and diagnoses will be carried out over television white spaces, an emerging communications technology which harnesses capacity in unused spectrum. Images will be sent over radios and transmitted over many miles. That empty space that was used previously by television stations or television broadcasters, now let's see if we can use it for internet broadcasting. With regard to the TV white spaces, it is something which we are looking at as a very good opportunity in terms of improving the access of communication in Botswana. As we began interacting with uh, uh, you know, possible users, they began to get more excited and say, well, let's uh, fast track the implementation. What are we waiting for? In the pilot project, patients who are being screened by Vista Life Sciences for cervical cancer or are being dermatologically diagnosed for HIV and AIDS can be seen in their local hospital in Lubatse by experts many miles away in the capital city, Habarone, or wherever the expertise may be. It means many more people have access to much more specialised care through Microsoft's cloud-based platform, Azure. This dramatically changes the ability of clinicians to communicate with each other and to be able to capture data and share data from hospitals and clinics anywhere with other hospitals and clinics. In widening access to health and ensuring that we reach out to populations and ensuring that they, they receive the requisite health services, it will definitely improve or scale up those health services. And that means a better quality of life for everyone, eventually covering the whole of the country. It's a low-cost, high-impact uh, healthcare innovation that we're introducing here.